Jermaine Minter is suing 21-year-old Trayvon King for threatening him with a knife. Order. All rise. This is case number 141 on the calendar in the matter of Minter versus King. Thank you. You're welcome, Judge. Parties have been sworn in. You may be seated. Folks, have a seat. Mr. King, is this your younger brother? Uh, no, this is actually um, my, uh, my friend. Your younger brother isn't here. No, ma'am. He's still on house arrest. House arrest for what? Uh, I think it was a gang lottery or something. I don't know the exact uh, case. How long has he been on house arrest? For approximately like two to three months now. Was he incarcerated for any period of time? Yeah, for about like a week or two. That's about it. How old is he? He's 18. Now, there came a time when you had some sort of an altercation with his little brother. Yes. Tell me about the altercation if you want to. So the particular problem with me and him actually had a fight came March 17th. 2016, I was on my way to get my driver's license. In order to get to, I stay 63rd, my auntie stays 64th, so I have to walk past their house to get to my auntie house. I was on my way to get the money because she's the one paying it for me. That's when a brother comes down, we get the arguing. You mean his brother yes. came down? Yes, I'm gonna call what him heavy the, because what that's was the, the argument about? Because the night before then, I, um, I entered their house without knocking and it just got on some, you supposed to knock. Well, if I'm coming here for the person and they told me to come in, you need to take that up with the person that told me to come in, not me. You went in there. And just opened somebody, the door. And you opened the door. So the younger brother said. You need that, to knock. But he didn't say it that night. I got it. Did you get into a physical altercation The with next him? morning. Not that. Not that night. The that night he was just, okay, you a police. He called me a police. Okay, whatever you want to say. I left because I was at their house. I left, went home. The next morning, as I said, I was going to get my um, driver's, driver's license. license. Walking past my auntie to my auntie house to get the money for it, the brother ran off the porch. Some saying, or so is all that stuff about yesterday. Come on, man. Ain't nobody on there with you. That's just how we talk. He swung, missed. I swung, connected. We fighting. I leave to go get my job license, he leaves to go to the hospital. So, you won the fight? I'm, I'm guessing. Okay. And then, it is your claim. I don't actually think that Mr. King disputes the fact that Mr. King was very angry that his brother ended up in the hospital, and at some point he came to your house. Yes. When did you go to his house? Um, what date? That date? March? Uh, actually, March 17th. Um, uh, if I can show you this, like, uh, it basically stayed from the day that they got into it for until now. Something that you wrote out? No, this is actually text message of him texting me. Fine. I want to know when you went to his house. March 19th, to be exact. What time? Um, I get off work at 2, so it had to be like 2, about 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. In the afternoon? Yes, ma'am. And who did you go over there with? My friend. How many others other than that one friend? How many others? No, it was just us. Now, my father was there, but he Just was... a second. So you, your friend, and your father? Yes, but my father, you know what I'm saying, like, he... He had a bad crash, so he was basically just telling me to come over there and find out what's happening. Just a second. Okay. All I asked you was, how many people went to his house? So it was you, your friend, and your father. Okay, yeah, just that went to his house is just me and my friend. Where was your father? My father was, you know, at the porch, you know what I'm saying, basically telling us, like, to just leave it alone. Why didn't you listen to him? Because I didn't go down there to fight. I asked him, I went down there to talk to him as a man. When you went down there to talk to him, did you have a knife? When you went down there to talk to him, did you have a knife? Not the first time. So you went down to talk to him twice? Yes, the first time I went to talk to him as a man, but I was, you know what I'm saying, being aggressive, you know what I'm saying, like, just with these text messages. Just a second. So when you went back the second time, was that also on March 19th? Yes. Then you did have a knife. And who went back with you the second time? I went back down and by myself. You were there by yourself? with a knife. So you left your friend and you substituted a knife for your friend. Now tell me what happened when you got there the second time with the knife. Okay, well, during the first time before I left, I was, you know what I'm saying, people, they was reaching and stuff like that. And then like him and his family had knives too. So I went about it the wrong way, but I did go back down there because I wanted to get to the bottom of it. Why this continuing con problem with my, my, my baby brother at that. 